What's up guys, Eli here, back for uh, my uh, Tales from the Bargain Bin video for the month of October. Um, this is where I just pick up stuff uh, randomly from, uh, you know, literal bargain bins. Stuff like uh, big lots and, uh, you know, thrift stores, other stores. So I got a pretty, pretty decent haul here, so we'll get into it real quick. I think we'll start with the big lot stuff. So I have been grabbing some random DVDs and stuff from uh, Big Lots over the last couple of months. Uh, my Big Lot store, they always sell DVDs. They don't always restock it. It might only be a couple of times a year that they actually restock it and add new stuff to it. So, um, you know, usually around Halloween month, you know, the month of October, maybe even, uh, you know, maybe even November, they'll have some decent like horror stuff. So I grabbed. I grabbed what I could, or grabbed what I wanted, uh, starting with... Now, this movie came out a couple of years back. Uh, let's see, 2020. I didn't really have any interest in it when it came out. I don't remember why, but, uh, you know, seeing it uh, seeing it at Big Lots for a couple of bucks, I figured I'd chance it. Talking about The Rental, filmed by Dave Franco. Um, I didn't know Dave Franco directed anything, so that's cool. Uh, pretty good cast here. Dan Stevens, Jeremy Allen White, Allison Brie. Um, yeah. It looks like a looks like a slasher, and I like slasher, so I don't remember why I wasn't interested in this uh, when it came out. But I'm actually stoked to to watch it. I've actually heard it's pretty good, and picked up this because it was goddamn three dollars, and I love this movie. Um, so I'm gonna send this to a friend. Uh, I've reviewed it on this channel already. Talked about the eyes of my mother. Um, one of the bleakest horror films I've seen in a while. I only watched it for the first time. I don't know, months ago, uh, six months ago, something like that. It came out back in uh, 2017, directed by Nicholas uh, Pesky. Uh, really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really dark. Really, really fucking bleak, man. And uh, another Tremors movie that I didn't know existed. Uh, <laughs> Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell, Blu-ray. So when did this even come out, man? Uh, 2018, it looks like. Never... Never heard of it, so it's... I don't think I owned it. Pretty sure I didn't own it. Um, I definitely haven't seen it. It probably sucks, but man, I love Tremors. I love Michael Gross. I, you know, I love to, uh, would love to, com you know, continue supporting both. We've got Cauldron of Blood with Boris Karloff. Uh, this is from... This is an older movie, 1967. So, I don't know anything about this movie at all. Uh, so I kind of read the back... Um, gives a little bit, not so much the plot, but I mean, this is, if I remember correctly, this is one of Karloff's, I think this is one of his last movies he ever did. Um, it says right here, Cauldron of Blood is among the more fascinating of Karloff's Euro horror films of the period. Uh, so this came out, this came out through a cool, uh, cool label that doesn't exist anymore. It was called Olive Films. So if you ever see anything from all of films while you're browsing, you know, maybe used stuff or whatever, grab it. It was a cool, cool label. Um, I got a couple from them actually here today. I also have uh, The Return of Dracula. Uh, I actually never heard of this movie. 1958. So this is a Dracula movie. Not with Christopher Lee. Not with Bela Lugosi. You know, the people that you're typically familiar with from, you know, playing Dracula. Uh, this is a total different, um, this is, uh, Francis Letterer. So yeah, I'm, I'm, as you guys probably know at this point, dude, I am so fucking, I don't know shit about, like, really old movies, like pre, pre mid to late 70s, and even, even 70s, uh, cinema, I don't know that much about, but pre mid 70s, man, I am, I am, I don't know shit, so I'm catching up. And then from, uh, this is actually from Martini Entertainment, which was a sub-label of Olive Films. As you see there, pretty cool stuff. So Zombies from Outer Space. Now this is not an old film. When I when I saw this sitting there at Big Lots, I was like, cool. An old, weird, you know, sci-fi horror movie. No, this is not old. This is from uh, 2012. Um... <laughs> An affectionate homage to the sci-fi films of the 1950s and the spirit of Ed Wood and Val Luton. So I thought that'd be a cool watch. Zombies from Outer Space, never heard of it, never seen it, but uh, should be a fun time. Now we'll just move on to stuff that I bought from just random stores, thrift stores, um, 
uh, other uh, just random places. Um, Last House on the left. I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big, uh, you know, rape revenge fan, but um, I don't know. I grabbed this just to, I guess, complete my Wes Craven collection. Uh, I, I've seen this movie. Uh, it, 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 obviously, it's a tough watch. I know a lot of people love this this one, and I'll be honest. This is a movie that's, yeah, I bought it. This is gonna sit on my shelf forever. I'll probably watch it one time um, now that I own it. But you know, it's a uh, it's a brutal movie. I don't know what else to say about it. Really. Uh, here's a movie I've been wanting to see. Uh, you know, I've heard of of it over the years. Uh, it doesn't come up very often at all. But when it does, it's always a nice reminder. I'm like, God, I need to check that out. So we're talking about Cat People. Natasha, Natasha Kinski, Malcolm McDowell, this is from, uh, okay, where's the guy? 1982, the year of our Lord, and the year of our Eli. I was born in 82. Um, yeah, dude, <laughs> I've never seen it, uh, but I've always been intrigued. I guess it's kind of like a werewolf movie, but instead of, you know, werewolves, they're kind of like cats. I guess. I don't know. Always wanted to see it. I'll check it out soon. Same with this one. Uh, you know, I've heard it's uh, heard it's really good. Uh, it's a director that I am familiar with, but I haven't seen a ton of his stuff. I'm talking about Jim Jim Jarmusch, uh, so coffee and cigarettes um, just seemed like something I'd be in the mood for right around this time. Uh, this came out in uh, uh, 2003, I think. It's got a, a shitload of uh, a shitload of people, as you can see. Cast is immense. Don't know a whole lot about it, just. Uh, I always kind of want to check it out. Um, here's a movie that I have seen, and I really, really liked it. I saw it back when it came out. I'm talking about Bronson with Tom Hardy. Uh, this was the movie, I think, that introduced me to Tom Hardy, because this is an older one at this point. When did I watch this? 2010. Um, so it wasn't like one of Tom Hardy's earlier films, but it wasn't far off either. Um, I think this is one of the films that kind of... Uh, you know, highlighted what he can bring to the table as an actor, and probably, you know, th though this was a small film, it probably propelled his career a little bit. At least I would think. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a really cool movie. It's based on a true story about a guy in England back in the God, when the 80s or 90s or something like that, and he was a troubled man to say the least. He, <laughs> he had literally spent something like. 80% of his life behind bars. Uh, he was just kind of a psychopath, really. Like, he wasn't like a serial killer or anything. He, he was just a kind of a more, he was like a petty criminal, basically, but like he liked getting in trouble. He genuinely liked going to jail. <laughs> he liked being in jail. How many people can say that? I mean, it's, it's a wild, wild movie. Uh, here's a movie that I've always liked, um, have never owned. So I thought it'd be cool to pick it up, you know, for a buck or two. Fucking high fidelity, man. John Cusack, Jack Black, some other people. I really like it. I think it's a really, really good movie. Uh, directed by Stephen Frears back in... Uh, what year did this come out? And I swear, some of these DVDs and stuff, you gotta get better about putting release dates on here. I don't know, mid-90s is my guess. Mid to late 90s, whatever. It's just a really good movie. VWF. I already own this, but I'll be sending this to a buddy. Directed by Joe Bagos. What can I say about this? I will be reviewing this at one point. It's just an awesome movie. Uh, came out back in 2019. Uh, I really became a huge Joe Bagos fan. I mean, the, the cast here is so cool. Stephen Lang, William Sadler, Martin Cove, Fred Williamson. It's basically about uh, it's basically about this uh, this VW or VFW center. Uh, owned by one of these guys, um, you know, they're all, they're all mili old military vets, you know, they, they're all retired, they hang out at this, uh, you know, at the VFW, and uh, one day it gets, um, this is kind of like an assault on Precinct, Precinct 13 type movie, basically, I don't want to get into the storyline, but they basically end up having to fight off, um, like, hordes of these, like, uh, drug users. There's like this drug that the, uh, the, the the people use in this film. It's not a real drug, but it's like a almost like turns you into a zombie. So that it's almost like a zombie movie, but it, but they're not zombies. I don't know. A lot of fun. Check it out if you haven't. It's a blast. Very brutal. Very just. It's fucking awesome. Joe Bagos rules, man. Um, 
then I, th I decided I'd uh, pick up some more films by a director named Jim Mickle, because uh, he directed a film that I liked, that I watched recently, and now I'm actually drawing a blank as to what it was. I'll, I'll figure it out. But anyways, picked this up cold in July. Uh, I've never really heard of it, but uh, it looks intriguing. Michael C. Hall, I like him. Sam Shepard, Don Johnson. I think there are some other people in here, too. Nick Demichi, uh White Russell. So, yeah, um, came out in 2014. Uh, looking forward to checking that out. <laughs> and another Jim Mickle film, because uh, I picked these up at the same time. Uh, this, I remember, I did watch this back when it came out. Uh, you might remember the After Dark Horror Fest. So this was his his uh, his submission, Mulberry Street, um, 2008. I remember watching it. I don't remember liking it, but uh, I, I decided I'd give it another rewatch. Uh, this movie right here, I'm pretty goddamn sure I own it, but uh, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I don't know. Maybe I lost it. I don't remember particularly liking this one, but... Uh, I thought I couldn't remember for sure, so I grabbed it anyways. Anatomy. This is a I think it's a French French or German film. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a German film. Um, I actually don't really remember too much about it. I just remember wanting to watch it. I watched it once and remember not really caring for it, but uh, it was so long ago that I don't really remember for sure. So whatever. I grabbed it again. Uh, this came out what two thousand. I think 2000. Then we got an old copy of The Hitcher. I've always wanted to own this movie. I, I believe it just got released or re-released on 4K. Because if I remember correctly, this, this movie was actually pretty hard to find for like a long time. Just consistently being out of print for whatever reason. So what can I say, man? This is a... Uh, this is, it, It's a classic. I, I, I can't wait to watch it again. 1984. Um, directed by Robert Harmon. Written by Eric Redd. You know, the great Eric Red. Um, man, the cast, Rooker Hauer, C. Thomas Howell, Jennifer Jason Leigh. I mean, that's a goddamn classic. Can't wait to watch it again. It's been a long time. And last but not least, this is a very beat-up copy, but, I, you know, I thought I'd grab it anyways. This was just recently released on uh, through, through Arrow Video, and I've always wanted to, or at least not always, but <laughs> since Arrow re-released it, because I hadn't previously ever heard of this movie, but since they've re-released it, I've, I've, it's been on my radar, something I've wanted to watch. Uh, Mute Witness. Again, old DVD copy. It's in terrible condition. Um, this movie came out, uh, I think it's a 90s movie. Oh, 2003. Okay. No, 94. God damn it. 1994, like I said, uh, 90s movie. Uh, it's, it's not a horror movie, I don't think. I think it's like a thriller. Um how bad that copy is i just want to watch it uh so yeah that's it guys um i guess uh i'll catch you later this month or early next month for uh november's pickups um you can expect other than that you could just expect a bunch of uh, film reviews for me as i'm still kind of sharpening my skills i like to think i'm getting better at it i really don't know sometimes but uh you know it's it's a fun hobby and i enjoy doing it not really trying to uh necessarily go anywhere with with that but yeah that's what you can expect from me i guess if you if you really are expecting anything why would you expect anything from this guy but anyways i hope you guys are doing well uh let me know what you think about these movies we'll talk we'll talk film right cheers guys